Hi, this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel. In this Lightroom tutorial, I'll show you how to create a preset and then apply it to your images upon import. But before we get started, if you want to check out my Family Portrait course for beginners and get a 50% discount, click over here. And if you want to watch all of my Lightroom tutorials, you can subscribe to my channel up here. And if you want to get my free 66-page Digital Photography Basics ebook, just click down here. Now on to the tutorial. Lightroom lets you store develop settings as a preset so you can apply the same settings to other images with one click. You can apply them at any time in the develop module or you can have a preset applied when you import your images. There are probably basic adjustments that you make to most of your photos, so to save from having to make the same adjustments over and over, I'll show you how to create a preset that you can apply to your raw images upon import. This will give you a starting point, and from there you can tweak individual images as you need to. And remember that no two images are exactly the same, so this will give you a good place, as I said, to start with, but it's not the end point. So we'll start in the develop module with an image that isn't too extreme, meaning that it doesn't need a whole lot of exposure or contrast adjustments, just an average, well-exposed image. I'm going to work with this image here that I took in Sedona, Arizona. I'll make adjustments that I would normally make. First, I'm going to go down to the camera calibration panel, and the default is Adobe Standard, but I'm going to change that to Camera Standard, which I like a little better. And then I'm going to go up to the Basics panel. And in this instance, where, since we're making a preset, I'm going to use Auto for the tone. And this will, as I say, give us a starting point. And from here, you may need to tweak individual images, you know, especially the exposure and perhaps the highlights and shadows. But this will give you a good place to start. And I'm going to leave the white balance as shot. And then I'm going to go down to the presence area and I'm going to add some clarity, um, about 14, 12 to 14. And then I'm going to add some vibrance. I'm going to go up to maybe about, oh, 40, 43. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to take saturation down just a tad to minus five. And then I will go down to lens corrections. And I'm going to enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. And then down to the effects panel. And I normally like to add a vignette. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my preset and go to about minus 10. I'll leave the other settings as is. And then that pretty much is set for basic adjustments. Now over here on the left side, of the develop module, click on the plus sign on, at the top of the presets panel, and then we can go ahead and, and save this as a preset. And you'll see that this dialog box opens up and we can give our preset a name. So let's call it basic landscape import. And then I'm going to check none so that we can start fresh and make sure we only have the boxes checked that we want to. So I'm going to check Auto Tone, and then you'll notice that the basic tone settings are grayed out since we have the Auto Tone selected. And then I'm going to leave White Balance unchecked, and I'm just going to check Clarity and Saturation and Vibrance. And I'm not going to check the graduated, uh, any of the filters or the noise reduction. I'm going to go over here and check Lens Profile Corrections and Chromatic Aberration. And then since we added a vignette, I will also check Vignette. And then always make sure Process Version is checked, and this will ensure that the preset uses the right processing technology for your version of Lightroom. And since I also changed the, cal the calibration, I'm going to check that as well. And then by the way, a good rule of thumb is when you are creating or when you're making your adjustments for a basic preset like this, 
uh, never mess with graduated filters, radio filters, um, blemish removal, anything like that. You just, that anything that would be applicable just to certain areas of an image. You just want to set overall settings. So now I'm going to go ahead and click create. And then you'll see that our preset is now here, basic landscape import. And then we can apply this preset at any time. Um, it, when we're in the develop module during the adjustment process, you can do it anytime you want. Or since we wanted to create this for um, importing our images, let's go over to the library and use it to import some images. So I'm going to click here in the library on import. And then I'm going to choose this folder here and I'm going to import these three images. And then over here on the right, you'll see apply during import, a little panel here. And then it says develop settings. So just click on the little up down arrows and then you'll see your preset list. And then I need to find user presets. And then I'm going to scroll over to our basic landscape import and click on that. And you'll see that it now appears here in a little dialog. And then I'm going to simply click on import. And then let's just open an image and go over to the develop module. And let's look at the basics panel and you'll see that Lightroom has automatically applied these settings upon import. And then you'll see here's our uh, post crop vignette and our camera calibration has been set to camera standard. So that will definitely get you to a good starting point. And from here, you can make any additional adjustments you want. And now would be the time, say, if you wanted to add a graduated filter um, you know, and make any other area specific adjustments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And if you liked it, I hope that you'll click the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Thank you.